that day. It is finally upon us. I didn't get my I didn't get my headset all the way down. Hey, what's up, George? What's up, Galaxy? What's up, Cat? What's up, Base? What's up, Tropical? How are all you guys doing, bro? Oh my gosh. Today is the day, bro. We've been planning this day for a while, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Today is going to be a fun-ass day, bro. Today is going to be a fun-ass day. We got Rocket League in the background. I got it going. Hey, what's up, DJ? Welcome to the stream, homie. Holy hell, bro. The amount of planning and just everything gone in today was fucking crazy, man. But all right. I guess I'll chit-chat here because I'm going to be honest. The wheel I found isn't that cool looking kind of ugly colors i couldn't figure out how to change colors but we're gonna get it to work and we're gonna go ahead and do the draft we're gonna find out what today's bracket was gonna look like actually one thing i completely forgot to do is to get a fucking bracket god damn it <laughs> but we're gonna figure that out we're gonna get a bracket going bro ever since i woke up this morning it's been non-stop posting videos getting all the the tweets and stuff all the hype out there last minute you know, we got one cancel, two cancellations within the last two 24 hours for players. So it's been, it's been kind of a ride, I guess. Let's, let's just do it, bro. Here it is. Here is the live scene. This is the wheel. These are our competitors. Lambo is actually no longer competing right here. So I'm gonna actually, uh, we're gonna have to probably take him off. But I guess another thing is we're gonna have to find a bracket. But let's go ahead and get into it, bro. Let's get that bracket. Let me get my drink. Let me go ahead and turn my headset down a little bit. I was fucking jamming to that shit, bro. Yes, sir. Hey, thank you for the follow, Galaxy. I appreciate it, bro. And uh, thank you, Natalie. She followed me uh, right before the stream, bro. Thank you. She's actually a competitor today. I know her from IRL. I, I didn't know. She wasn't following. No, I'm just kidding, bro. <laughs> but, man, look at these people, bro. Oh, you can't see the you can't see the ones on the bottom. That's fine. Here, I'll move this shit. Let's get that out the way, bro. Look at this. Let's just go over our, our competitors today. I think this leaves us with, uh, shit, about 17 if Lambo's gone. Up here at the top, I did a practice spin. To clear my name, I did a practice spin. I'm going to do three random spins before we actually, like, carry on because I want it to be completely fucking random. I'm going to do three spins, and on the fourth one, it'll be the first actual pick. I just want to make sure it's random as fuck. Already, I imagine it's random as fuck. But we're going to be extra careful because I don't want anyone to think this shit is rigged. I'm gonna go ahead and try to find a bracket and uh, once we do that We're gonna go ahead and try I'm gonna try to explain the rules the best I can kind of give you guys a no shit What's going on today some scenarios if you know I because if people lag out and stuff Which is a possibility how we're gonna try to handle it What do you guys think it's obviously my first tournament, so there's a lot up in the air I'm new to a lot of this I'm gonna learn a lot and it's honestly been an adventure just to set it up It's been a lot of fun, but let's go ahead and get into our competitors first and then we'll find the bracket and we'll start spinning this bad boy. Number one, our first competitor. Cool guy. Relatively new to the game, but he's been part of the group forever, bro. And he was he was kind of hesitant to play, but you know what? He did it because this is why I wanted people to do it. He did it for the fun. He just wanted to hop on. He, he has a mindset that he's going to lose. But let me tell you, looking at this, this little wheel, I'm going to say half of these players are very, very new. So there is a very high potential that a lot of these newer players are going to get to a round two. And maybe even around three, depending how it is. I, I'm looking at this list, and we probably have five people that I, you know, I expect to win it. Five really good players. But I mean, I mean, what? We got 17 people here. We're gonna have a lot of games. We're gonna have a lot of close ones. Probably gonna have some blowouts. And if you guys saw the video I uploaded today on my YouTube channel between Five and Brady doing their little practice session, that game was fucking wild for a practice session. Oh my god, bro! And same day, but there we have. We have Cool Guy. Kind of went on a little little rant there. But, hey, excited to have Cool Guy playing. He confirmed he's going to be able to make it. That's awesome. Donut. Donut is supposedly a very good player. I'm going to go ahead and turn the music down just a little bit more for y'all. Just tiny bit. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit. But Donut is a relatively good player. From what I can tell from him, he is a very strong offensive player. And he's going to be a threat to watch today on the offense. I don't know how his defense is going to go. We'll have to see how his defense is. Personally, I've, I've never really seen it. I'm excited to see how that works, especially against players like Brady, Five, or uh, even oh, Tiny. There he is. A lot of good players out there. So, very excited to see Donut play later today. Moving right into it, Frost. There's one person I love playing Rocket League with. I take it back. If there's a duo I love playing Rocket League with, it's Frost and Noodles, bro. They are fucking hilarious. Frost, not that experienced of a player, but I haven't played with them in several months. We'll have to see... 
if he's improved, where he's kind of sitting at. I feel like he's probably a good middle of the field competitor today. I feel like he's he's got a solid chance at going out there and winning some games. Do I think he could take it all? I don't know. And someone keeps calling you? I, I, I don't know what that's about, bro. That's kind of messed up. No, but I uh, say nothing to how much you've played before. Uh, no worries, George. No worries, George. But how are y'all doing, bro? I'm going to keep rolling right into it to our next players, but I am very interested in how y'all are doing, bro. Galaxy said, oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm not trying to talk shit about anybody. I'm telling you my dead-ass opinion, what I've seen from practice, what I've seen from them prior. I'm kind of giving you guys a heads up. And if you guys know some of these guys, root for them. If you don't know them, I'm going to kind of tell you what to expect a little bit. Also, it sounds like a lot of our competitors aren't going to be able to play till a little bit later in the day. So we might have to also do a couple of extra practice games. We'll figure it out as time comes, but it seems like a lot of people are delayed a good hour. So we'll see when the time comes. We'll cross that bridge. But for now, let's keep getting right back into it. Lambo, he's not going to be able to compete. I guess he has something to do with duty or something. Once again, he's in the Navy. We know the Navy almost fucked me raw, and this event would have not happened. I already stayed an extra day and several extra hours on that extra day. Almost didn't make it off island to even come and do this event. So I understand for a man, the Navy, obviously the Navy comes first, but the Navy is very last minute, and it is random. You really cannot predict. You can't plan your life very well with the Navy because it is a wild card factor every fucking hour, bro. <laughs> so Lambo had that to do. Lambo, though, as a player, is relatively new. He's not bad. I would say he's probably lower middle of the field. I don't I don't think he's upper middle. Well, well I would have loved to see Lambo play because I say I, I, I personally think he would have been lower middle. Also, he's just the type of player that I think would surprise the absolute shit out of me and he would be in upper middle. I think he could have had a, a good run at, you know, round two and maybe even three. So you just you don't know, man. Never know. I would have loved to see Lambo play, but we'll try to get him in next time. Power. Power's another player, man. When he is up against me, I all bets are off, bro. Like, he just finds a way to rail me. He is very, very, very good at demol demolishing, uh, or what is it, uh, demolishes all the bumping. He's a very aggressive player. Does he have all the, the skills that I think could win him a game against someone like Brady? No, but he is very aggressive. I don't know how his defense is, but I'm also, I'm very excited to see how Power plays today. Benji, a very, very new player. Very new player as far as I can tell. Probably one of the newest players on this entire bracket. He's a friend from high school. I absolutely love him, and I am very excited to see how he plays tonight. Once again, a lot of these people are just here for the fun. Hey, Galaxy, thank you for the sub, bro. Hell yeah, thank you, man. That's fucking awesome. And uh, Galaxy, this goes for anybody out there, especially Galaxy, because I just thought of it. If you guys ever want to hop in one of these tourneys, I am planning on doing more in the future. Just a little heads up, so definitely stay following. And uh, if you're not in the Discord, hop in the Discord, because I'll definitely be posting the Discord when I set all that stuff up. So if you guys want to get in a future tournament, that's how today's tournament is pretty much filled. I'm pretty sure it's going to be filled. I, I don't think we're going to add any more people. I don't want to do a, you know too much crazy last-minute stuff, but moving right into it, bro. I love Benji. No, am I well, but I feel like he's very new to the game. Getting past round one might be difficult for Benji. But, you know, there's always the wild card factor, and we'll just have to watch and see. Moving right along, Munchies. Fuck Munchies. He's a... No, I'm just kidding, bro. <laughs> I told him I was going to shit talk him, bro. No, nah, man, I love Munchies, all right? He did. He casted me and Brady last night, and I obviously got my ass kicked against Brady. And uh, he, he made it very well known that I got my ass kicked. So I'm just playing with Munchies, bro. Very excited to see Munchies play. Once again, I got to put him in the bracket. He is very new. He hasn't been playing the game long. Doesn't have the most skills. But one thing I can say for Munchies, and I am very happy about this, and I'm very proud of him for this. He has gotten so much better over the last week. If you would have seen him play last weekend when we were joking about doing a tournament, seeing if we are actually going to do it, he wasn't that good. Like, he probably, he would miss the ball. He'd be circling the ball, couldn't do it. Now we see Munchies with a little bit more coordination. He's able to hit the ball, and he's able to even get some goals. On his own, no mistakes. Like, he is just able to take advantage of some situations and get in a goal when it usually has to be unchallenged. But he can still do that. He wasn't able to do that a week ago. I'm very excited to see how far he's actually come with all the practicing he's done over the last week. And you know what? He may have a shot at round two even. I, I really think he does. Moving right along as another friend that I went to high school with, Emily. Never been in this stream before. I've never seen her play Rocket League. I know she plays... 
a lot of Call of Duty. I think she said she's relatively new at Rocket League. I don't know too much about her skill. Haven't really been able to see any footage or see her play in practice or anything like that. So that's kind of a wild card factor. When I say there's wild card factors coming in today, that's that's one of them. I don't know how she's going to play. She could be one of the top. She could be brand new. It's going to be very fun to see where she's at and to see who her opponents are throughout the day. Moving right along, we have them next to each other. Five and Brady. I'm going to do them at the same time. I'm just kidding. I'm going to do Brady first. Brady's probably the most offensive player there is today. I... His offense is almost unstoppable. You have to have an on-point defense to even have a shot at playing Brady. If your defense lacks at all, he will pick it apart and he will get a lot of easy goals and you will be too far behind. He doesn't have to play defense often, but when he does, it is also very good defense. But I'm going to have to say his offense is his defense. You're going to have to shut down his offensive game if you want a shot at taking down Brady today, which we'll have to see. I think Brady's going to have to get unlucky and get paired up against someone with a very 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 strong defense early on for him to get knocked out Brady is I'm expecting him to be one of the players to go all the way if I had to choose four people he would be one of them so very 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 excited to watch Brady play and I'm very excited for when this Brady gets go or for when this bracket starts <laughs> he gets going when this Brady gets going <laughs> I can't fucking talk bro you'll be out for the practice I just had what oh when the real tournament starts all right copy that bro uh, I'll go ahead and let y'all know when practice starts too. We're going to be here for a little bit, but, uh, oh, you blocked the number. Were you getting like spam call on your phone, bro? Damn. I thought you were like talking discord or something. Yeah. Fuck. I hate spam calls, bro. I'm, I'm with you on that one. Damn. Yeah. But block the number. That's good, bro. But, all right. Moving right along. Looks like we're officially halfway through this circle. It's only taken three hours. <laughs> no, man. I love talking about these guys, what I know and what to expect because we have ourselves a very fun bracket. The only problem is going to be time today. I just, the time, everyone's kind of got different times. They can and can't be here. A lot of them can't be here till a little later. That was kind of a last minute. Hey, I'm actually going to be an hour or two late. I got like five of those today. So we'll have to see just how that goes. We might have to start the actual bracket an hour later. I, we'll get into that later, but very excited with this bracket. But going back into five, probably the most defensive player I have seen. We just got... We just got through Brady, right? One of the most offensive players. Hey, Brady's in the stream. Welcome to the stream, bro. Speaking of him. But he's one of the most offensive players, and the only way to shut him down is a good defense, and that is what Five has. Both times Five and Brady have played in practice league, the practice matches, Five has won. Both games went to a final game, and even the second match went into a uh, game five overtime. So they are very, very, very good. But in the end, it's just that overpowering defense will defeat Brady, and that is what Five has, and people are going to have to find a way to pick apart his defense. If you get the unlucky bracket of having to go against Brady and Five, I am sorry, because you're going to have to be just an insane skill, insanely skilled player to be able to go and play both of them, because you're going to go straight offense to straight defense. It is just going to be such a culture shock if you play these guys. I'm, I'm looking forward to who their opponents are. It's going to be a wild day. going to be a very, very wild day. Hey, what's up, Taki Milk? Welcome to the stream, bro. You're not late, bro. We're just barely getting started. We're just talking about the, the competitors today. We're going to be talking about everyone a little bit, who's here, kind of talking about how they play, what I know about them, and then we're going to go into making the bracket, and then we go into the final practice session. And then we're going to do some practice games, and then uh, probably a couple hours because it sounded like everyone kind of needed... Everyone's running an hour too late, so I think the actual matches are going to start about more... 4 ish, 5 ish p.m. Pacific instead of 3 p.m. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how many people are here. We could probably get it going. We'll figure it out when that time comes. But for now, we got this little wheel and then the bracket. And that is what we are currently on right now. But all right, moving right along, bro. We got DJ. You know what? One thing about DJ, too, is he's going to fall into the category with Munchies. He's relatively new to the game. But over the last week, I have seen him improve so much that I am actually very proud of you. And DJ's out here in the chat. Oh, you just had something come up. I oh, know where's DJ. I'll message you when the tournament starts, bro. Go ahead and take care of that, bro. No worries at all. One thing I also want to make clear because he said that what he what he just said has kind of happened all day for people, and I completely understand. I'm not going to DQ. I'm not going to be an asshole. I'm not going to, you know, be a dick of stuff. Obviously, this tournament's just for fun. There is money involved, but no one paid to get in it. It's a completely hosted by me, completely paid for by me. It's not a ton of money because, you know, I'm not a fucking massive streamer, but fucking... So, you know, I'm very chill when it comes to time. Obviously, if they, like, don't answer me, just completely go, like, MIA, 
then I might have to hit him with the DQ. But I'm going to try to delay them and do all kinds of other, move their matches around. Same opponents, but I'll move the times around type of deal. I got a system, guys. I know it's really hard to organize an event like this just for fun, especially since we don't actually have any pros here. You know, pros will make the time for com competitions, but we're just a bunch of friends. And, uh, yeah, friends of friends, so it's, it's a little bit harder to manage with time. But just putting that out there, no worries, DJ. I will definitely let you know when the tourney starts, bro. Definitely go take care of that, but for everyone else... He'll be back at start. Doesn't take long. Okay, it doesn't take long. I'm not just point. I'm not pointing you out specifically. I've gotten about five other people messaging me. They're running late today, and I know some people don't even get off work until like five or six p.m. my time. So we'll see. Hey, what's up, noodles? Welcome to the stream, bro. Uh, you tell you what, you're in a class of your own in Rocket League. Oh, we got some shit talking going on in the chat, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got the shit talking out, baby. That's what I like. But moving right along, bro. We got Oregon. He's another player that when I play against him, he just pisses me off. He is incredibly good at bumping and just being in the way. Now, I don't know how he's going to operate in a 1v1 situation. I've really only ever seen him in twos or threes. He's not a bad player. I would definitely give him middle of the field. I couldn't tell you if he's more offense or defense. I want to say a little bit more offense. Confidence is your downfall. Oh, yeah, we got we got some shit talking, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Even Brady's in on it, baby. Hey, I'm ready for this tournament, bro. This is going to be wild. We're going to have a lot of fun. But Oregon, I'm excited to see how Oregon plays. I've never seen him in a 1v1, and I'm not exactly sure of his play style. So he's going to be a character to watch. A very, very, very wild card coming out of Oregon right there. But Silver, Silver once again is another wild card. Let's be honest. I know Silver is definitely, I'd say, upper middle of this field. I, I, he's not bad. He's not relatively new. And when Silver wants to show up and play, he can be very good. And he can be unstoppable. He can be so hard to predict. There could be games where I will absolutely, like when I play Silver, I will just absolutely destroy him. And then the very next match, I can't get a goal on him. He is a very unpredictable player. He's very good. I would give him upper middle of this field. And I'm, a, I'm also very excited to watch Silver. I'm, I'm excited to watch all these guys. I'm going to be honest, but there's just some people I'm like, oh man, I, I can't wait to see how it goes. Hey, what's up, Five? Welcome to the stream, bro. How you doing? He <laughs> says, fuck yeah, America. What's going on? Hey, thank you for the host, Five. Hell yeah, bro. I appreciate it, bro. Oh, if Noodle says he's going easy on you, bro. Whoa. Oh, we got some shit talking going on, bro. Let's go. Moving right along, we got George. George is a player I have never seen play Rocket League. And if I had to guess, if I had to guess, I want to say he's relatively new. If I had to, I've never seen him. I've never heard him talk about Rocket League. I'm going to guess he's relatively new, and I'm going to assume he's bottom of the field. But he's ultimately a wild card. We don't know where George stands. I have never seen him play. He has never been in a practice session. If he does practice sessions here right now, in this final practice session, I guess you'd call it, then I we might get a little bit of a glimpse of what we're going to see from him. But as of right now, I do not know. But moving right along, we got Noodles. Noodles! The man talking shit right now, bro. We've seen Noodles play, right? Noodles can be very good. He can be very good, depending on who his opponent is. I feel like... Once he gets an opponent that gets the upper hand on him, I feel like he doesn't quite know how to kind of, uh, what would it be, uh, adjust. I don't think he knows how to adjust to that and do a different play style. He kind of just, uh, and it's something I'm guilty of too. I, ha I really just have one play style, and I kind of just get in that, that rut, and I don't get out of it. And in the end, it's going to be very hard to win a 1v1 situation when you kind of have the same play style. You know, I, I don't know if he was actually going easy yesterday. We'll have to see. But he did get annihilated by Brady yesterday. So, I, I don't know if he's going easy or not. Could be a wild card. I'm going to put him under a could be a wild card. I'd like to see Noodles go up against some people. And I'd like to see where he's actually at. Overall, once again, a very fun person to watch today. And moving right along is another person I have never... Well, that's not true. I've, I saw her play Rocket League probably over a year ago when she was streaming it. But I've not seen her play recently. I asked her what her ranks were. She said, I think it was either diamond in twos or threes. I can't remember which one, but then it was like high plats. And she's never done a 1v1. Natalie, I don't believe she's really... Oh, there's Natalie speaking of it. You don't play ones. You're just here to have fun. She could tell us what her rank is right now. I can't quite remember. I could check Twitter. But she's just here to have fun. And you know, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, bro. That's why we're all here is to have some fun. There's a little bit of money involved in a t-shirt, but I, it's, I don't think anyone's really here for that. I think everyone's actually here just for the tourney and to have fun and that's what i think it's gonna be but i do remember natalie said she doesn't play one so even if she is a diamond in twos and threes 
that's going to be interesting to see how she adjusts to a 1v1 situation because 1s is completely different from even a 2s or, you know, definitely 3s. It's just a completely different game, completely different play style. We got my little my little mouse right here. Huh? I guess I could have hid that, huh? No. <laughs> it's going to be very exciting to watch it, bro. I'm very excited. Diamond 1 and 3s and uh, Plat 3 and 2s. Okay, so I did get it right. So, a very good player. We'll have to see how she adjusts to ones. We'll have to see. It is very different. I, it's going to be a blast. Moving right along, we have Spencer. Another guy I went to school with in high school. It's not me. This is a different Spencer. <laughs> I'm just going to put that out. I almost put other Spencer. Because <laughs> we got two Spencers out here today. We got me. I'm hosting and I'm casting. And then we got another Spencer who's actually going to be playing. And I don't know his skill. I believe he told me that he is relatively new. So I'm going to have to rank him kind of lower in the field. But... Once they, I've never seen him practice. I've never seen him play. So he's just got that wild card kind of edge to it. We don't know his play style. We don't know how he's going to end up playing. He could end up being relatively good. So very excited for that. And for our final person today, we have Tiny. The latest entry. He got entered in last night. And you know what? We saw him play. If there's one thing I absolutely loved watching about Tiny, I don't know if he did this on purpose or if he actually just made the necessary adjustments. But he adjusted almost perfectly. He got blown out playing Brady. Brady just absolutely demolished him. It was like 7-2, 6-2. The very next game, not only is it a close game, but he leads the entire thing and beats Brady. Like his turnaround, his adjustments were just insane. If you're playing Tiny, you're going to have to have an evolving game where it evolves mid-game every single time, every match against him. I think he's going to be very hard to beat. He's got a very good balance of offense and defense. I, I think, like I said, he has a quick adjustment, but I feel like he only is in the mindset of one of them at a time, where it's either full defense, little offense, or full offense, little defense. But he it takes him no time to switch back and forth, so it's going to be very, very fun to watch him. Uh, you know, I personally wouldn't have put him in the top five yesterday if you would have asked me before the stream, but he I think he has a solid chance at top five. I think, I think if I had to choose five people right now, my predictions, my top five players... I'm going to have to go with Five and Brady for sure. You know they're going to be up there. I'm going to have to go with uh, Natalie, Tiny, and Dona. I think those are probably going to be our top five players. I think those are just seeing from what we've seen, from what we've heard. I think those are the players that have shown up the most, at least in practice and before the actual tournament. But once again, this is a tournament, and people have off days. So and we got a lot of players out there like Silver, Oregon, Power, just frost so many people out there that are wild cards and we don't know how they're gonna play i'm sorry i didn't name everybody i mean we do have 17 here sorry but i didn't name everybody but there's just so many people out there that could get an advantage on one of those players and knock them out early so we'll just have to see but with that guys with that i gotta find a fucking bracket all right i'm guilty all right i'm gonna have to back out of this real quick oh we got ads bro yeah it's a not secure site i get it i get it all right let's just get right back into this i'm just gonna Oh, did I just fucking do that? No! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, let's go back into full screen, bro. I know it's kind of a sketchy site, but I looked around, and there's really not a lot of random pickers, so... I'm gonna have to... Gonna kind of have to work with me here. This is my first tournament. I probably can't find a better way to do this. I think there's a Streamlabs tool, actually. I'll work on it. I'll work on it later. Uh, in a future time, so... Oh, that's not the problem right now. What is the problem is we need a uh, bracket generator, huh? Bracket... Bracket maker. All right. Let me see. How many players do we actually have? So if, uh, actually, let me go ahead and back out. Uh, where is Lambo? Because he's officially out of it. 17. Okay. 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 So I got an idea. With 17 players. Oh, that's kind of a bitch. <laughs> 17 is kind of a bitch number, bro. That's going to be kind of hard. All right. Here is what we are going to do. Challenge is a good website. Oh, bet. I'll have to try that one next time. I just kind of did. I clicked a couple, and this was the easiest, so I did this one. But I'll definitely check that out. Thank you, Natalie. Here's what we're going to do, right? At the end of the day, I want to see as many people advance as possible. We're going to do... 17 people, right? Because that's how many we got. We're going to do a loser's bracket where losers can get in. It'll be like best of three or something. doesn't have to be on camera. 
but we'll do a loser's bracket. Two losers will get in, get back in, and then we'll do a fan vote to get it up to 20. Or, yeah, we got to do that. I got to get a second. I got to get an even number to where it's 10. So, all right, so that's what we'll do. We'll do a loser's bracket. Two people will have the chance to come back in just because I want to see people in, and I think it'd be fun. It could be a quick little match. And uh, we got a lot of delays today, it sounds like. A lot of people won't be on until later in the day. So I think that'll help us in the end. And then there will be a fan favorite. So if you get knocked out, we'll do a poll. Whoever gets the most votes. So, I mean, bring your friends, bring whoever. Try to get the most votes. You'll be back in if you are eliminated round one. I want ten people going into round two so that we can have five more matches in round two. And then the third and I guess we'll call it the final round is going to be five people. It's going to be double elimination. And I already have the kind of bracket mindset. Finding a bracket that's going to work for that, though, is going to be kind of fucking weird. So, I probably should have done 16. I mean, okay, that's the plan unless someone drops off. There's still a couple of people that are a maybe. I think Oregon's a maybe. I'll just ask Oregon. Here, hold up. Scrap that plan for now. Scrap that plan. Let me just ask Oregon right now. I'm going to do... So here's kind of the problem with Oregon. I know I feel bad. It's kind of last minute. So here's it doesn't matter how much I plan for this tournament. People have last second, you know, changes. Things go on in their life. Obviously, the Navy fucking threw in a, 100 curveballs here in the last couple of days for me. It doesn't matter how much we plan. And then at the end of the day, you're here. You're on your computer. You're on your Xbox. You're ready to go. And your fucking internet takes a fat garbage. And that's, what ha well, that's what's happening to Oregon. Apparently, his internet's been out all day. So it doesn't... It sucks, but I might just ask him if he wants to do the next one. And then we'll have 16 people, and then that's just a very even number. We event we at one point we did have 20 competitors, but we've had multiple dropout in the last couple of hours. So that's kind of where we're at. Like I planned it, everyone said they're good to go. They dropped out and they kind of hurt us. I think I'm gonna go ahead and move Oregon out if someone else either volunteers or if we get more, I will I'll move them back in. But for now, we're gonna do a 16 person bracket. I'm going to go ahead and move him out for right now. And I don't fucking like this ad, bro. All right. Sorry, Oregon. I love you. McDonald's Wi-Fi. Yeah, I think... Apparently, I got McDonald's Wi-Fi because this fucking website is kind of poopy, bro. But all right. Here it is. We got 16 people. Let me get the bracket for 16. Um, it is right over here. Create bracket. Um... Hold up. You guys are going to watch me do this, bro. Here we go. You guys are here with me. I get it's kind of a little. There we go. I'm trying to get this whole fucking streamer thing, bro. We'll get it. We'll get it. All right. Single elimination. How do you how do you get participants? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, we got 16, huh? We got 16. 14, 15, 16. <clears throat> oh, this is actually kind of a really fucking cool website. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. That's actually cool as fuck. Can I... Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm kind of learning this website. Never done it. Okay, so here's where you change it up. Fantastic. What we are going to do is, can we make this smaller? Fuck you. I want that to become big. Alright, cool. <laughs> we'll just do that, bro. Right, fuck the ads. We're just here to find the fucking bracket. It's official. And like I said before, we are going to spin this three times before we do our first official pick, just so it's random. I did a I did a test and it was cool guy. Actually it's no longer on cool guy anymore. It's kinda random and I've refreshed the page. Fuck it! We're just gonna hit it, bro. Are y'all ready? to see our first matchup of the day are y'all ready i gotta at least get one yes bro if no one's hype we're just gonna end the stream we're gonna go to bed i'm just kidding bro i'm not gonna end the stream i'm fucking hyped i'm the one hype baby let's go no man i am i am stoked this has been something i've been waiting for all week I, you if you ask some of my co-workers bro they were getting mad at me because i would not stop talking about this rocket league tournament bro brady says no that's good enough for me our first competitor of the day is going to be 
Who's it gonna be, bro? George! George is gonna be the first competitor. We're gonna go ahead and hide him. And I'm fucking dumb. All right, here we go, George. Team number one. Don't want to misspell his name, baby. We got <laughs> we got George in the chat, baby. He says, game number one. <laughs> he was like, I thought I was going to be in it for a while. Not today, baby. You are up first. Yes, sir. Up first. <laughs> we got. I like it because George said, yeah, I'm ready. Aw. <laughs> All right, man. Who is George's opponent going to be? Is it going to say or is it going to go to pick number two? I actually don't know. I might go down to pick number two down here. We'll see where it goes. Let's see what it does. I don't know. I've never used this website. Who is it going to be? The second one picked. It's going to be Frost. Frost is number two. And uh, I'm kind of a I'm kind of a dunce because I'm the fucking one making the bracket. So I can I can put Frost wherever I fucking want, bro. <laughs> we're going to put him. We're going to put him right up there. Frost is going to be number two. Game number one. That's going to be Frost versus George, baby. This is going to be a good one. And you know what? I think that's a really good matchup. I'm going to be honest. I think there could be some even skill right there. So I'm already excited for that game. Oh, shit. And I'm still a dunce. Team 2. We need to name Team 16 as Frost. There we go. I'm, I'm getting it, guys. I'm getting it. It's fucking weird. But I'm learning the website. I was like, wait, it didn't update, but it did. All right, there we go. Person number 3. Who is it going to be? 14 people remain. Five! Five has been picked. One of my top three choices to win it overall is officially picked. And here he goes. Team nine is going to be five, I guess. Five. One of my top three. He's a very, very good player. Very defensive I'm very excited to see how he plays today. Who is going to play five? This could be dangerous. All right, this is this could be one of the best players we have in this league, in this little tournament. Who is going to go up against him round one? I, if you have not been picked, I would be clenching right now because that's going to be good, but who is it going to be, baby? Oh, I'm shaking. Who is it going to be? Who is it going to be? It's going to be Spencer. Oh, man. I thought I was going to say Tiny for a little bit, bro. Tiny and Five are good friends, man. If they would have gone up round one, that would have been disgusting. Two of the best five players up round one. That would have been brutal. That would have been probably one of the greatest games of the day. But it's going to be Spencer. And uh, you know what, Spencer? I, I got to apologize, brother, because that is... You're, you're going to have your hands full going up against a guy like Five. Five is just going to be key defense. The good news for you, Spencer... You got the element of surprise on your hands. Five has never played you. I don't think any of us have ever seen you play. You got that going into the game. Five is very good at adjusting. But uh, it's, that's going to be... I'm, uh, you got to bring your A game. I'm, I'm, I feel a little bad for you, Spencer. You're going to need a warm up when you get off work. So what you're going to do is you guys can do warm up. You guys can do warm ups. You guys can do whatever games off camera. The only people I need in the game, in the session, are going to be the ones competing. Everyone else, you could literally be on COD. I don't care, but... So if you got to do some warm-ups, go for it. I won't put you in immediately. I'll give you a little bit of time. We might still have tourneys going on or games or all that. So no big deal. But I completely understand that. If you guys aren't warmed up either, feel free to warm up. Uh, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to base these games based on time. So this is the right matchup. But they're going to go in different order. So I'll go whoever's here because I know whoever matches up with Brady is not going to be able to play for a couple hours. Uh, give last game to Brady. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. So the last game is going to be Brady. So it's like this first game might be first and then like this game down here. And then this one, and then, like, you know, Brady's probably going to have to play last. Benji also requested a later start, as well as, I think, one or two other people. So, you know, we'll cross that bridge when it, we get to it. But that's kind of where we're at. That's kind of the plan for right now. But, all right, pick number five. Who is it going to be? Five out of 16. We got a lot left. A lot of people left. Benji, speaking of the man, thinking of the myth. Speaking of... The potential legend. We'll have to see. He ain't a legend yet. He ain't won nothing. Benji is pick number five for team number five. Let's go ahead and get him over here. Benji. Yes, sir. All righty, bro. Is your hubby at work? Munchie said he's on his way home. I don't know if he was at work or what's going on with him, but <coughs> yeah. But Benji did request a later game. Just a heads up. So whoever's about to play Benji, expect to play 
in a good hour or two. So you got some time. Let's spin it. Who is Benji's opponent going to be? Could be anybody. My guess is Noodles. That's tiny. Oh, man. Oh, man. That is... That's going to be a very brutal game for Benji. Benji even told me he's a very new player. And I can't help but actually feel bad for him. That is going to be a very, touch, a very tough matchup for Benji. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, that is okay. Oh, Tiny, I didn't even type it. Tiny, there we go. At the end of the day, man, we're here. I can't fucking talk. We're here for fun. Very unfortunate for Benji. He's probably one of the newest players. He probably is the newest player. He hasn't done any practices this week. He, I don't think he has practiced. It's very unfortunate for Benji. He, that is a very good opponent for him for round one. So, but at the end of the day, it's fun. I'm just happy Benji play. He obviously hasn't lost. I mean, he has the potential. He could be fucking me right now, right? He could have said he's new, but he's actually a god. Could he could be doing that? He's a wild card. I'm just saying, he, you know, if he actually is new, I feel bad, bro. That's gonna be a fun one to watch, and we gotta see if Benji can get anything together for Tiny, because Tiny is his adaptation is just insane. And here we go. Who is going to be our next pick? It's going to be Emily. Emily. I I haven't gotten a response from her today. I don't know if she's still competing or not. So I took Oregon off the bracket for now, but he can fill the spot for anybody if they don't make it. I'm pretty sure Emily. Uh, who else hasn't gotten back to me? Emily. I think it's just Emily. Yeah, I think it's just Emily that hasn't gotten back to me. So he could very well fill that spot. If anyone else has to go for an emergency or anything. Well, you know, or if Oregon can play, if his internet's better, he'll just fill that spot. He's kind of in the queue, I guess. That's what we'll do. I think that's fair. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to put that out there. But all right, moving right along. Number 13 is going to be Emily. Emily. All right. Where are we? About halfway through? One more and we're halfway through. Who is Emily going to play today? Give you anyone but the diamond? I got bad news for you. You and the diamond are both together. I like how you refer to Natalie as the diamond. Silver! Oh, man. Silver's now... You know, that's going to be a good game. I think Emily versus Silver, that could be a good game. I, I'm going to have to message her, make sure she's around. But I think that's going to actually be a really good game. I'm excited for that matchup, 100%. We got Silver. All right, moving right along. Hey, we still got three of our best... Three of my, I'm going to say, best guesses are still in this. Brady... Donut and Natalie are three of my top five rated players. If I picked five players to be the top five, like if I had to actually choose a rank for every single player, we still got three of the top five in this. And look, we only got eight left. We only got we only got eight people left. There's a very good chance that two very good players are gonna get matched up with each other. This this could be bad, bro. This is gonna be interesting. Who is it gonna be? Who is it gonna be? It's gonna be Brady! Uh-oh! Uh oh, Brady. Who is Brady going to get matched up with? Oh, man. I am excited to see this. I, I don't even want to hesitate, bro. Oh, I didn't take Brady out of it. Fuck me. All right. Here's how we do that. Um, we take Brady. Where is he? Right there. All right, cool. I knew there was a way. I knew there was a way. All right, Brady. Are you ready to see who you get paired up against? Donut and Natalie are still in it. You got power. You know power. Oh, Munchies and, Munchies and Noodles are all still in it, too. These are all people that Brady wanted to play. From the Diamond, he said he didn't want to play Diamond, which is Natalie. I know Brady and Donut, they go back, bro. They run tourneys together. That is, that could be, that could be interesting. Tourney buddies going up against each other. And then you got power, Munchies and Noodles, three people. Noodles specifically has been talking shit. Who is it going to be? Who's going to go up against Brady, bro? Who is it going to be? Better be afraid you get me, Brady. Oh, Noodle's still talking shit. He's not afraid. Who is it going to be? Oh, it was almost Natalie, but he's going to get cool guy. Oh, Brady almost had the one person he did not want. But, hey, that is lucky. Cool guy is a relatively new player as well. As of now, he is still going to play, but he is another one on the fence, I think. So we'll have to see. He got cool guy. Very, very, very lucky, bro. He almost had Natalie. We still got two amazing players in this, and there's only three more matches to be picked. We got six people, three games. Let's see who it is, bro. I want to see who Natalie gets paired up against because that's going to be interesting. I think overall, ranked wise, she is the highest, and that's going to be Noodles. Noodles is going to be here in Team 11, but we don't know who he's going to play yet. We do not know who he's going to play yet. 
Noodles is probably the number one shit talker right now. So let's see who he gets paired up against, right? Let's see who he gets paired up with. Let's see if he can continue to talk shit after this next spin. And it's going to be Donut! Oh, no! Oh, no. He's probably getting the... the f if I had to rank everybody, I'd say Donut's probably number four or number five overall, man. He is a very good player. That is going to be... A very fun game to watch. I don't know if he's as good as Brady or not, though. I've I haven't seen them play yet, so we'll have to see. I know Dona is a very, very good player, though. So that is that is fucking hilarious. That is a little bit of karma, bro. But hey, I overall, bro, I think that's gonna be a really, really, really fun game to watch, and I think that's gonna be a fun one to play for you, bro. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with that one. Two more games left. Four people. Let's see who it is. Someone's getting stuck with Natalie, bro. The Diamond, as everyone's calling her. That should be her official nickname. And we got DJ up. Oh, man. Who is DJ going to get paired up against, bro? That could be... That could be bad. Could be bad. Everyone's afraid of Natalie, bro. No one's even seen her play. Natalie, you've brought fear to this tournament. <laughs> Natalie is the, <laughs> the fear bringer, bro. Oh, my gosh. She is... She spooked everybody. But, all right. This could be it. Who is DJ going up against? Who is DJ going up against? It is going to be Munchies. That, that is actually an amazing game because Munchies and DJ, I think, did a 1v1. And DJ was a little bit better, but I know Munchies has gotten practice. And I think Munchies has a chance at beating DJ. That's actually a very good matchup for Munchies. Munchies, who is also very afraid of getting paired up with a very good player. I think that's going to be a very, very good game. Munchies and DJ, that is going to be an awesome game. I, I That might be one of my most hyped games here in round one. I think I think if I had to choose, I, we're, you know what, we're not done yet. I mean, we are done. I mean, we could spin it to see who wins, but these two are playing each other, so. <laughs> uh, oh, I guess I did that fucking mid. There we go. Who is it going to be? Power got selected. All right, Power. Let's see who you're playing, Power. Let's see who's power. Let's see who power is playing. <laughs> Let's see power. It could be anybody. Oh, it's Natalie. Who would have seen that one coming? <laughs> you don't even play ones. I know, bro, but you still brought fear, and that's fucking hilarious. I love it. But we got power and Natalie for this last game, and that is going to be a good one to watch too. You know, power is not bad. I'm gonna tell Natalie. Power is not bad. You know, I believe Natalie is really good. Power's not just a brand new player that's going to get stepped on. I feel like he could bring a little bit of challenge. I haven't seen him play recently, so we don't know. We don't know how good he's going to play, how you know how well he's going to show up. But, you know, overall, that's fucking awesome, bro. Oh, speaking of Emily, she just uh, responded. Uh, let me see if she's still doing the tourney. One second. Like, uh, oh, uh, what are the what are the little bits things called? The little bit bit badges. Tournament. All right. Cool. She she responded before I could even message her. That's awesome. All right, man. So the brackets are official. Look at this. This is it. We have the brackets. <clears throat> I'm going to do a quick little recap. I know I've been talking for a while. You're fucked. Why do you have to play Munchies first round? Rip you. Because yeah, Munchies is the god. Number one overall. The best of the best. No, bro. That is a fucking awesome, awesome, awesome matchup. I'm, I almost want to just do that one, bro. But all right. Let's do a little recap on all these matches. I'm going to choose my top three favorite matches to look forward to here in round one. And then we're going to get into some practice. First game. And I think they're both here. I think George and Frost are both here. I think that's going to be a good game. I think they're both relatively new, and I feel like they're going to be relatively on the same skill level. Do I think either one of them has the potential to go all the way? I don't think so, but I really think we're going to have a very, very, very good round one game. George is here. Awesome, awesome. Donut better count his days. Fried still talking shit, baby. I love it. I love it, but this is going to be a very good round one game. I think a fairly even matchup, and I look forward to that. Five and Spencer. I don't know how good Spencer is, but I, I I hope he's good because he is gonna have to be good. You cannot give five any 
any goals. He is just going to pick your offense apart. He's going to pick your defense apart, and then he's just going to absolutely rail you. His, his defense is insane. You're going to have to score early on five. Every time we've seen someone beat five in a, in a practice or something like that, you have to get goals on him early on, and then you pretty much have to go full defense. His offense, it, it's good. It's not quite what his defense is. Spencer, you're going to have to bring the A game, bro. I, that is probably the biggest mi mismatch we have, I think, out of this entire round one. And I feel bad. You knew it had to come. There was going to be at least one match. It was just very unfortunate luck of the draw. But, hey, we're going to be doing more of these tournaments, hopefully with more people sometime. And so there's always next time, too. He gets five again next time. <laughs> That'd be fucking wild, bro. Benji and Tiny, I don't think it's as big of a mismatch, but it is a mismatch. As far as I know, Benji is a very, very new player. Tiny is very good at adapting, and that could very well hurt him. Could very well hurt him. Benji, another person that is just not looking good for him. I'm going to be honest. He's going to have to bring his A game against Tiny. And I'm going to be even more honest. I, I don't know how to tell you to play against Tiny. He adapts so quickly. It is just insane. Like the, the, Your battle plan has to be constantly evolving. You can't just go in with one battle plan against a guy like Tiny. It's just not going to work. He is a very, very good player when it comes to adapting. Game number four over here, we have Emily and Silver, which, to my knowledge, I think is a going to be a pretty good matchup. I don't think Emily is that new. She said she is. I, I feel like she might have been underplaying herself. But I feel like she's got some experience. I, I really feel like she's played the game before, and I think she could be a good opponent to Silver. And we know Silver. He ha he's either really good or really bad, and that could change every match. He could just absolutely just be dog shit one round. And then he's over here doing aerials and nailing these insane shots. The man is unpredictable, and he is a fucking wild card. Very, very excited for that match. Brady and Cool Guy, I feel bad for Cool Guy. I, I, Brady's probably ranked number one or two, maybe even three overall. Maybe. I mean, he did beat Tiny, but no one. the only person to beat him so far is five. So if I had to guess, he'd be ranked number two overall. That is tough. That is a tough, tough thing. Cool Guy said he's not good at this game. He just wanted to play for fun. I respect that. I'm very happy he's playing. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but, yeah, that's going to be... That's definitely a mismatch as well. Game number six over here. We got Noodles and Donut. I mean, Noodles is talking shit like a motherfucker. So, I mean, the way he's talking, it sounds like he's got a chance. But, I mean, Donut is a very good player. Donut is a good player. Ace is here too well as well. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. But that is going to be... That is going to be fun. I'm going to be honest. That That's going to be a fun one to watch. I'm, I might have to put that in my top three. Do you know Emily? Oh, yeah, yeah, Natalie. It's Emily that we went to school with. Yeah, it's her. It's that Emily. Oh, uh, uh, and actually, she said she's not going to be able to do the tournament today. So we are going to... We're going to fill her bracket with question marks. All right, Silver. Your opponent is still to be determined. One sec. Sorry, sorry. Had to let her know. It's all good. All righty. But yeah, yeah you, you know Emily, Natalie. I guess she won't be competing today, but hopefully we can get her another time. She was a wild card. We might just have to do uh, that favorite vote. Or I mean, Oregon. You know, I said Oregon, but his internet's still down. So he's still a what if as well. So I'm not going to put his name officially. But if it's if it ends up being Oregon and Silver, that could be a very fun game to watch. So we're going back down to Noodles and Donut, bro. Another, another, another fun one. Noodles is talking up a storm, bro. I want to see him bring it to the field. If he does, that's going to be a good game. DJ and Munchies. I'm going to have to rate that. Oh, my God. That's probably my most anticipated game of round one. They are probably very... They're probably the most similar in terms of skill level. Like, George and Frost are pretty similar, I, I assume. I haven't seen either of them play in a while. But DJ and Munchies had a practice game with each other. And it was fairly close. And Munchies did lose by a decent amount. But he has improved... And I want to see how much he has improved over the last week. And if maybe he can get a game on DJ this time. And DJ, his color in chat is changing every time he talks. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious, bro. <laughs> it's red, yellow, orange. Like, <laughs> But for game number eight, a game that power is probably going to dread. We don't know. Natalie, she's been saying this entire time. She doesn't do ones. So we don't know how she's going to play in ones. But everyone is fearing Natalie right now. She could be the person to be. I mean, even Brady seems a little scared. We'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. We got eight really awesome matchups. And you know what? The best part is 
it goes into multiple more matchups. We get four more games in a round two. We get two games after that. And then we got a championship bracket, championship game right here. This is going to be fun. This is going to be an awesome bracket, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put it into a pause screen. We're going to go, and go ahead and get Rocket League up. We are going to go ahead and get Rocket League all the way up. I'm actually going to have to do one adjustment really quick, probably. Uh, I'll go ahead and close that for now. We'll keep the bracket. But it is time, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to swap over to Rocket League. We're going to do our last practice session before the tournament. I know a lot of people are still delayed. Can't quite get into the tournament. I, can't, I fucking can't talk here. Let me take a drink, bro. I'm getting ahead of myself. Getting ahead of myself. We won't be able to get into the tournament quite yet. A couple of people have delayed. They're running a couple hours late. It just means a couple more practice games. Kind of get to feel out some people's skills, too, which is why I'm not too opposed to a couple more practice games. But we are going to get into it here eventually. Let me go ahead and get up the Elgato. And where is it? All right, there it is. Let me go ahead and get it going. And let's go back to live. I'm going to have to adjust it a little bit just because I had to adjust it for that last thing we just did. So give me a second. Let me go ahead. Unfortunately, I can't do that until I have the Elgato up. Otherwise, I would have done this a second ago. But all right, there we go. You guys can see it again. It is back to normal. And I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to just hide all that stuff. I really don't want to see that stream overlay. That's what it is. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to see all that stuff in the tournament. I want to be able to see everything on screen. I really do appreciate everyone who has followed, sent bits, and subscribers. So I'm still going to shout you out as you guys do it. It just won't be on the screen for this stream. It's going to pop up in the middle of the screen, like the little notification, but it's not going to sit in the little boxes. Uh, I just I want to get those boxes out of the way for this tournament. They'll be back next stream. I do apologize. I know you guys understand. I mean, it makes sense. You guys are going to want to be able to see the entire screen in these competitions because we got a lot of fucking awesome games coming up. Hey, what's up, Benny? Hey, Lurk, you're a little busy. Hey, no worries. Hey, what's up, Ricky, as well? Hey, both of you, welcome to the stream, bro. Where's your $30? Hey, Ricky, you already know you lost that bet, bro. You know I lost that bet. That shit was downloading for 40 minutes, bro. Yes, sir. I don't think I have a Lurk command either yet. I, that's something that has been requested. I guess I'll have to work on that. I just fucking moved my Elgato. God damn it. All right, it'll, it'll go back here in a second. But what I wanted to do is who's game number one, baby? Who is practice game number one, the first practice match of the day? Now, the difference with practice today, like I said, I'm not going to have anyone in the actual Discord with me during the game. I don't want to tilt them. I don't want to say something that might throw them off. I don't want to influence anybody. I'm just going to announce if they listen, they listen live. There's a little delay. I don't want to be able to say anything, you know, crack jokes, talk shit. I don't want to throw them off. I will be conducting after the fact, like after the game, I'll do interviews on both players, you know, how they feel overall, what the tournament was, if they were... What, what I can prove, just just how the game was, all that stuff. We'll do interviews and all that afterwards. So we will talk to almost everybody if we can and if they want to. But for the actual matches, it looks like it's just going to be me casting. Megan was going to be casting. She ended up having something to do. Once again, it's fine. It's You can't really plan everybody. When you have, you, when you have an event like this with well over 16 people involved, finding a day, time that's going to work for everybody, it's hard. It's hard. I, you know, it sucked. I gave it my best. But we, we did get a lot of people. I mean, look at this. We got at the, we got the minimum 16 people, including me, and uh, potentially one more. So, you know, overall, I think this is going to be a fun day. And uh, who wants to be it? George says he'll do the first practice game. Anybody want to practice George? Who is George going up against in the bracket, though? And why is Elgato still fucking... Go back to full screen. God damn it. Okay, let me get the bracket out of here. All right, yeah, let me just get that bracket out of there. All right, there we go. Um, oh, you can download the bracket? All right, I'll, I'll mess with that another time. Yeah, I'll mess with that another time, to be honest. All right, cool, 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 cool. Um, so George is going up against Frost, so I don't recommend George and Frost teeing off in practice. Just, I mean, I know it's like, well, why wouldn't you practice? You don't want to give each other your skills. You don't want to, you know, kind of feel each other out, especially before the tournament where it counts. So uh, if we got anybody out there, that wants to do a practice game. I don't know if you're back, DJ. I don't know who else is out there. Natalie, if you want to do a practice game, you're more than welcome. Anybody, Noodles, if you guys want to do a round one practice game. It's basically going to be a best of five. 
but it's practice. This is not actually going to count. You're on right now? All right, we'll get Natalie and George. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> this could be a mismatch practice, but hey, we'll check it out. We'll see how it goes, bro. This could be a lot of fun. Uh, I might have to actually add a couple of people. We'll have to see. Um, yeah, I don't know if any of these guys are that, but hey. My epic tag is Dr. Cluck36, as you guys can see in the top. If you guys want to add me, I'll go ahead and add y'all and get you guys back. Hey, welcome to the stream, Imperial. Uh, you're the practice audience. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> hey, welcome to the stream. We're going to be doing a couple of practice games before we get into the actual tournament. A couple of our competitors are like just getting off work. They're delayed a little bit. But a couple of warm-up games. Still going to be fun. A little practice for me, too, because I'm fairly new to casting. I'm, I'm by no means good or a professional, but I have fun doing it. Everyone has fun competing. We're just here for fun. That's what matters. And that is how the cookie crumbles. But alrighty. DJ says he's fucked. Why do you have to play Munchies first round? Oh, no, that was old. My bad. My bad. Donut the Natalie. <laughs> Bro, there could be some nasty matchups. And you know what? Actually, before before we get into this practice, if you guys want to add me. Uh, oh, you're Mr. Top Gear 123. Um, oh, okay, you, you both added me, fuck yeah. Cool, cool, oh, Spencer did too, fuck yeah. Everyone else would probably have to let me know their thing, if there is more. But alright, let's go ahead and get, uh, let me fucking find them. Okay, alright, I'll do, let me just get him in the game and I'll continue what I was saying, sorry. So I guess, let me just find him, yeah, Mr. Top Gear. Am I tripping? Oh, yeah, why the fuck? Invite to party and invite to party. So I right, just to keep Natalie and George up to date, this is a practice game. This actually doesn't matter for the tournament. This is just practice, just a warm up. We got some funky cars going on here, bro. Look at this. This is beautiful. Just kind of for them, and I'll, I'll reiterate this every single time. Hey, thank you for the gifted sub, Brady. Oh, and it went to Shar. Hey, welcome to the stream, Shar. Welcome to the stream, by the way. That's fucking awesome. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> Donut is in for a beating. And here we go with Fried still talking shit, baby. Tuna says, mind if you join? Uh, honestly, for the practice, or Tiny said it. Tiny Tuna. Hey, either one. If for practice games, I'll allow people in. But for the actual tournaments, it's just going to be the competitors. I don't want any extra lag or any any m issues or misclicks or interference. But yeah, absolutely, bro. I'll go ahead and get you in real quick. Uh, before I do that, let me go ahead and get into the rules for the day because I kind of did skip over that. When it comes to the rules, it's going to be a 1v1 situation, best of five. So if you, it's going to be five-minute games, overtime, obviously, normal Rocket League. But it's going to be best of five games. If you win all three, you advance. If you go 2-2, two, two, go to a game five, you lose. I'm sorry. It's, that's it. Best of five. Uh, nothing crazy about rules. I'm going to be casting. I'm going to be spectating. I'm going to be hosting them all, so it's kind of fair. I'm hosting on US West. In the future, if that's a problem, if we can do something better, like host, I don't know if there's a central or, or east, or I, I, we could figure it out. Maybe. I'm just going to do it flat out US West. I'm not going to change the settings. I'm not going to change any of that stuff just because I want to make it fair for everybody. I know with location and stuff, it's, it stinks, but that's kind of that. When it comes to the tournament, if you guys need, what I kind of want to do is before the game, I'll, I'll make sure everyone readies up. I'm like, hey. Uh, you know, Natalie, George, you guys cool? You guys ready? And then they can type in chat or DM me. And they'll be like, yeah, yeah, we're good. I'll start it. Preferably they choose teams beforehand. I don't know if they could like type it in the game chat or something. Or I don't really care how it is. But once they like choose orange or blue, they just kind of stick with it for all five games. If it is five games. In between games, try to ready up as fast as possible. I'm not going to skip goals. I'm going to just like all goals pretty much play out because I want to see it and see the replay, especially for commentating. So... All that stuff, that's just kind of a couple of things. When it comes down to the winner of the day, first place does get $20 and a custom t-shirt. Second place gets $10. Third place gets $5. I did ask. I tried to put it out for everybody, but just in case you didn't hear it, give me up to seven days for the money. I'm going to try to get the money out to you by like today or tomorrow. But at worst case scenario, give me seven days. The t-shirt, I'll obviously DM the winner, but just expect probably over a month. Like, the t-shirt's going to have to be customly, like, designed, and then also shipping and everything, especially with COVID, has taken a while. I'll keep you up to date. I did a t-shirt giveaway last year, and everyone got their t-shirts, so it's I, I obviously do give out t-shirts and all that stuff. That's not a problem. It just takes a little bit of time, which sucks. But hey, welcome to the stream, Ricky. And Eric, sorry. <laughs> and 
Ricky ain't getting no money, bro. I won that bet fair and square. Yes, sir. <laughs> but alrighty, man. Let's go ahead and get a couple more people into the game. I do ask if you guys can join Spectator with me. Don't interfere in any way. To let him practice. If uh, people start interfering, then I'm going to kick everyone out but the competitors. But I'm, I'm cool with people spectating live for practice games. Like I said, the real games, not so much. But uh, I thank you for the follow, Krista. Hell yeah, I appreciate it. That's dope. But all right, let's go ahead and invite a couple more people. Uh, who else wanted to get in? Who else wanted to get in? It was... Uh, what the fuck was your name, bro? <laughs> we never added each other. Did you... Uh, I don't I don't remember your gamer tag, bro. Uh, I'll go ahead and get you in next game. Let's just get this game going. Natalie and George, are you guys ready? Do you guys have a preferred team? You can add each other in chat or DM or in the game chat. Whatever you want. If you guys got that. Oh, no worries, Krista. I still appreciate it. Lurk. I don't have a lurk command, sadly. But, hey, I appreciate the lurk. That's awesome. If you get bored, we are doing a Rocket League tournament. We're about to start our practice games. It's going to be a lot of fun. We got our first practice game of the day. You have to send me the... You made me. You made me a meme noodle, so you made someone else. Oh, no, no, no. You're talking to Eric. All right, all right. I got you. Hey, what's up, Spencer? Spencer, we did make the bracket. We're doing practices right now. We currently have Natalie versus George. I'm waiting on confirmation for both of them if they're good to go. They have joined. I'll see if I can get confirmation from them. Uh, sh all right, Natalie will be orange team. And George, if you are ready, you will be blue. And he says blue. Cool. So we are ready. Let's get it underway. The first practice game of the day. Here we go. I just, I click casual. We just queue up in like normal. <laughs> That'd be fucking wild, bro. Um, create private match. Let's see. One thing I never officially got down is what fields I want to be doing. I feel like I want to do like fields like this. I want to do fields like this for the normal matches. And then the actual, like if it goes to a game, like point match, then I'll do champions field. But I'll just, I'll switch it around for now. I guess it doesn't really matter what map as long as it's a normal map. And, uh, yeah, there it is, bro. Let's do it. Let's hope it works. Go get him, Dan. Dan's not in this one. <laughs> this is George. This is George and Natalie in a practice game. But, hey, I appreciate, I appreciate the hype, Ace. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dan says, I'll do it. Uh, now you're Firestone Red. Oh, fuck yeah, bro. There you go. Uh, did it load? Hopefully it loaded. I, I had a couple of issues with the game just kind of being broken yesterday. I don't know if anyone came to that stream, but this game, the like most recent update kind of broke. All right, it, it is loading, but that update yesterday definitely caused some problems. You're on Natalie's team. Oh, and we did get timed out, so there still is an issue with that, but that's fine. Y'all still know your teams. I'll just keep queuing it up. It'll work eventually. The game has just kind of glitched ever since the most recent update, so. Oh, George, if you can back out. If you can back out of that game. I, I guess you got in. No one else got in. That's fucking weird. But Oh, well. You know what that does provide us with an opportunity for? It provides us for, with a very, very awesome opportunity. Check this out, guys. Check it out. Well. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Um. Who do you think will win? Who do you think will win? So this is also practice for me. Uh, we'll do... We'll just do a minute for this first one. Alrighty, there it is. We now have a prediction. If you guys want to vote in this prediction, it's just channel points. It's free. Might as well, right? It's a fun little game. You guys can now vote on who you think will win this match. And then George, if I don't know if he has yet or not. If you can back out back to the, the lobby where we are. He's still in with us, right? Alright, cool, 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 cool. He is. Uh, for some reason, it did lag. I'll go ahead and give it a minute. Oh, uh, Who does everyone think so far? Oh, it's 50-50. 50-50. You can also change your channel point bet to more than 10. 
I don't recommend it since this is a practice game, but when it's an actual game, you can bet with a lot more channel points if you would like. Oh, George, George is winning. Oh, but it's back tied up. It's all tied up again. Hey, and I do ask all moderators out there, let's go ahead and let me manage that for now because some of you guys are competing. I don't want anything in like that. But that's it. That is it. We are going to wait for the result, and it's best of five games. It's not over until someone wins three of them. So that is that. Oops, don't want to do that. And let's see if we can get into a game eventually. <laughs> eventually get into a game. I'm going to be honest, man. As much as I want to get more people in. Oh, uh, was there another fucking error? Oh, wait, we got George. Who the fuck is this guy? Why, why, why did it just allow some random person to join our fucking thing? Okay, well, go ahead and back out, guys. That's fucking. Why? I, it was literally a private match, and the game just throws in a random dude. Yeah, I guess back out. What the fuck is this, bro? What is Rocket League? God damn it! I can't even do a tourney without this game making me mad, bro. Go ahead and back out. That's kind of the interference that I, I don't fucking like and I don't appreciate. There's Look, there's literally only three guys in our lobby. You have George. You have Natalie. You have me. But I click private match. Create private match. It's party only, which means you cannot join unless you're physically in the party, which you can see no one else is in the party. Why, Rocket League? Why? I guess we'll do two. What is that, bro? He was in the party? He, I don't think he was. There was only three of us. I didn't invite anybody. Oh, well, maybe he was. Maybe it slipped, but... We'll try it again. We'll get Natalie versus George warm up eventually. This is gonna happen. I am convinced. I'm not the only one, right? Like, I'm... Was, was there actually a guy in the party? I didn't see here join anything. I think it was just like randomly queued him up in a private match. Like that's, I think that's what happened. If you spectate, I was about to say that Tuna. We're already having a ton of issues with the game server. So I think we'll just do minimum people. Just be, for some reason the game servers are fucking broken right now. Come on Rocket League. This is on this is on sap, bro. This is not cool. I can't even host a 1v1 tournament without the game being completely fucking broke. How do you cancel? Why is it searching for a game? It's a private match. Rocket League. Rocket League, what are you doing? Private match. I said create private match. I didn't join private match. So why is it creating a match? And then it's... There we go. That's how long it should take, bro. Rocket League. What's happening? Hey, what's up, Yoshi? Welcome to the stream, bro. Welcome to the stream. It's official. We are doing the Rocket League tournament. And here we go. We got George in. Let me make sure Natalie got in. All right, cool. No one else joined. All right. Okay, there we go. I think we got it. I think we got ourselves a game one, ladies and gentlemen. And here it is. The very first practice... Excuse me. The very first practice game of the day. Oh. I don't know if George was ready for that one. All right, here we go. Ooh. Oh, this could be bad for Natalie. She's going to be able to get in there and stop it. I'm going to have to warm up with commentating a little bit. I, it takes me a good game or two to kind of get in the mood. Not the mood, but just kind of get going. George is going to overhop that. We didn't know George's rank. And because of that miss on George, Natalie's going to be able to take this game up one point. We don't know George's rank. We don't know his play style. We don't know exactly where he lies in the field. We don't know if he's one of the better. We don't know if he's one of the lower players. After seeing that, I almost have to rank him in the lower half. Maybe it was just a misclick. I know it happens. But, all right, here we go for break two. 438 remaining. Natalie's going to be able to win that with flying colors. But she's going to retreat. She had an open net. And she didn't take that opportunity. George is drifting. George is going to put it in himself. George's got to get out. He's got to get it out from in front of his goal. Otherwise, Natalie... I can't believe Natalie didn't take that opportunity to get an easy second goal. That should have easily been a second goal. Here we go. Oh, George with the bumping. George is not going to give Natalie an opportunity for that goal. He's going to have to knock it out. Uh, 
Uh, is he going to be able to do it? Uh, not the jumping. I almost have to feel like Natalie's going a little easy on him. Oh, wow. Natalie with a nice shot there. Hit it over George and then was able to kind of do a little bit of an aerial to kind of like ensure it went in. Watch this. She bops it up and kind of does a little... I, I guess it wasn't really an aerial. It was like kind of a, a jump boost into the ball to make sure it goes in. Not looking too good for George here in practice game one. Natalie easily going to win that kickoff. I've, after seeing a couple of matches by George, I'm going to have to rank him kind of lower on the field. I don't know if this is just him warming up or, or what's going on, but it definitely seems like he's newer to the game, and that's fine. Natalie easily going to be able to win that challenge right there. She's going to take it in, and it's going to be 3-0 with 3.53 remaining. Unfortunately, Fort George, this was not one of the most ideal matchups for him to warm up. Natalie is potentially one of the three best players we have in the competition here today. So the fact that this is his first warm-up game is a good and a bad thing. He's going to get to see a little bit of some pro moves, I'd say. I, you know, a pro being for our, you know our little league and our little friends group. Obviously, no one competing here today is a pro pro. But, I, you know, she's definitely one of the best competitors today so far is is where i'm ranking her i mean obviously we'll see how it turns out but i think george playing her early kind of getting to see some of her moves seeing how to play getting an idea how today's gonna go could very well help him with warming up now, he's almost had it he tried if he could have got it over natalie right there that would have been a goal but natalie gonna waste no time making this a 4-0 game with three minutes and 17 seconds remaining and uh uh, game volume's looking okay guys let me know if it's a little quiet it's a little loud it looks like it might be a little quiet but we will see we will see uh, in practice, if you want to join, uh, Tiny Tuna ask who is top three? A top three, I'm going to have to probably give five Brady. And it's either between Natalie, Donut, or yourself, Tiny. I don't know. I think you three are kind of up in question because you guys, I, I really haven't seen Natalie play a lot. What I've seen so far is she's not bad. I've noticed she, I don't know if she's just doing this because she doesn't want to, like, demolish George or if it's just her style or what's going on. But she seems like a very defensive player. A very defensive player with that save. Oh, my gosh. That was an incredible save by Natalie. I almost have to... I'm going to have to ask her. Like, I, I feel like she plays a lot of goalie. It's From what I can tell, I think she plays a lot of goalie in her twos and threes. And, I mean, that's what she's strong with so far. She goes from goal to his goal. She really doesn't spend a lot of time in the middle of the field, as you can tell. Here it is. George just not being able to get a good hang on the ball he's got to hit that ball away from his goal otherwise that's going to go in not going to be able to do it but natalie going to miss as well natalie thinking he was going to knock it away what a save by dj natalie said she's just chilling you're sorry oh no it's all good hey you ain't got to go full power on him i mean it is a warm-up this game means nothing so you can just chill get a get a good warm-up kind of feel out a couple opponents and how they play i know george is relatively new but tiny tuna says let's go and uh, Shark says, hey, thank you for the gift sub. Yeah, thank you again, Brady. That's fucking awesome, man. You didn't have to do that. But I'm sure Shark appreciates it. That's fucking awesome. And George going to be able to get a save there. Going to keep it from going to 5-0. Looking like here in game one, Natalie has it secured. But can George get something on the board? Can he get something together? And can he get a couple of points on the board? Might not be able to win this game. But, I mean, if he can get something going, if he can get a system going, he might be able to get a win. Or at least make it a closer game in game two and three. And that very brutal for George. He gave it his all right there, but Natalie just going to be able to put that one away, make it a 5-0 game, minute 35 for remaining. Very, very good. Is uh, this the diamond? Yeah, she is diamond in three, she said. She says plat three in twos, and she's never really played one. So we're seeing how she plays in ones. But, yeah, Natalie is the diamond. Yes, sir. Uh, DJ says you'll become a pro in a week, bro. <laughs> hey. Never know, bro. Never know. And uh, Tiny Tuna asked Five if he wants to 1v1. If Five is here... Oh, he is here because he just asked a question. We could do that. We could do... Uh, we could do... I would love to see that as a practice game. I think that would be fun as hell to watch. I think seeing Five versus Tuna as a practice game would be fucking awesome. George going to be able to get a nice save there. I'm going to be honest. I didn't think... I mean, after what we've seen him do, I wasn't sure if he was going to be able to get that one cleared. But he was able to... Ah, and he's going to put it in front of goal. Natalie's going to take that opportunity. But can George save it? It's actually going to go wide. He's not going to have to. And Mr. Smiles joined the game. Why? Why did he join the game? This is a fucking 1v1. Why? No one, no one invited anybody to the game. Why? Why are people in the game? What Rocket League? It's a private match. Rocket League. It's a private match. And, of course, he joins the losing team. Oh, well, let's give George a fucking chance here. Let's see how it goes. 
see how it goes. Natalie very well could fucking still dominate here. I don't know who Mr. Smiles is, but Natalie gonna get another goal, it looks like. And she will. Natalie letting a 2v1 not upset her. She's gonna go up six points. I don't know who the fuck this guy is. No one in fucking no one invited him. But he's in the game now, so that's cool. Yeah, what the fuck? It's it's literally a private game. I showed you guys it's a private game. I don't I don't know what I have to do in order to make it like so people can't join. Do I have to do a private private game? Like what what is Rocket League, bro? Rocket League is fucking I'm getting mad. And he left. I, and I appreciate Mr. Smiles leaving. I appreciate that. I don't know if he's in the stream or oh hi, oh hi. Oh, but Miguel, Miguel is in the game. Don't worry, Mr. Smiles left, but Miguel says, you know what? Let's play. Miguel. Could George get a goal here with only a couple seconds? Miguel decided to leave. Probably a good thing because it's a private match. There shouldn't be people in here anyway. But Natalie's gonna give it get it here in game one. And I'm gonna have to figure this out before we do the actual tournament. And you know what? This is why I'm a little bit happy. What are, what are the options? Are there fucking options I got to do? Tournament schedule, US West. Do I, what do I do? Is there a setting I'm missing that makes private games not private? Like, am I, am I dumb or like, am, what's going on, bro? Like, is someone out there, does someone out there know? Like, this is, this is not okay. This, this cannot be a, a thing for a tournament. This cannot be a, a feature. That's not okay. The only other thing I can think of is instead of... Fuck, man. Uh, so for George and Natalie... Am I putting passwords? No, we're just... So uh, I'm going to go ahead and back us out, guys. For right now. I'm going to have to figure this out. Obviously, it's a practice game. Natalie's up one in the series. I hate to do this with a little pause because I know that can tilt you guys. The good and the bad news with this, we're figuring it out. The good news is we're not in an actual tournament yet where it matters. Because if we were, that would be fucking terrible. And I would actually be very upset. And so I'm going to try to figure something out here real quick. You think it's glitched? I think it's glitched too because those players are definitely not in the stream. They're definitely not friends. I doubt they're friends of friends. I don't... I mean, let me check settings real quick. <coughs> it's got to be... Disabled. Uh, nothing. It wouldn't be there. Create an online match against players in your party. Create an online match. Um... Uh, Do you see how there's, like, no settings? People are getting dropped into other games that are decidedly not private, and it seems to be affecting all sorts of players. It's an odd issue, but again, probably one that has to do with the servers and not the players. Rocket League has had more than its fair share of bugs and technical issues this season. Which started at the beginning of the month, item trading was disabled as it was glitched out. Others were getting the call limit error. Oh, so it's just the game's absolute dog shit, so we have no shot... Even if I even if I do a fucking a password only, it's gonna put people in my game. Are you kidding? That's how how do we fix that? That's we gotta fix it. We can't do a tournament with people joining mid game. That's not possible. You you can't run a tournament when it's a three three game, a minute thirty left, and a guy joins the team and it's fucking bullshit. You can't do that. And you can't run it back because it's a 3-3 game with a minute and a half left. That's not fair. They were playing their hearts out to get a 3-3. You can't just, oh, let's do another match. And then it's going to happen again. I can't kick people, I don't think. It's unfixable. That's ridiculous. That literally cannot be a feature. It was a good game. You're a bit rusty. I. It was a great game. And you know what? It's a warm-up. You know what? I love it. They're being chill as fuck. And uh, flat cars are really good. I mean... What? I, I don't know what to do. I actually don't. I'm... How do we... Legitimately Rocket League, how... There's... When there's money involved for you guys competing, how is this a feature? If it's a setting on my fault, I can take the heat for it, right? I fucked up. But this is out of our control. I literally... I guess we'll just do another game and just hope to God... 
and just fucking hope to God, bro. Are you kidding me? That's... I'll try name and password. Yeah, I mean, I'm obviously... I've never done it with name and password. No. I'd, I'd turn the stream... I would make the streams, like, be right back, and then I'd type it in, and I'd DM them, but... Yeah, thank you, Natalie, for the tips, bro. Like, that very well could help him. I guess we'll try another warm-up game. There's money. There's money for the top three placers. Yeah, first place gets $20 in a custom t-shirt. Second place gets $10. Third place gets $5. But I'm not gonna... You can't crown a fucking winner if people are joining mid-game. That's not, that's not fair to anybody. It's not fair to the winner or the loser. You know? Like, that's just... I guess I'll, I'll create a game. <clears throat> Let's... Let's see. Come on, man. Oh my god, there's... That's ridiculous. I, there's no fix, man. That's just... I don't even think they joined. Did they join? No. I guess not. I'm actually hurt right now, man. I don't know what to do. Like, I've been looking forward to this tournament, and I know you guys have too, but if the game's this fucking broke, if people can't even get in the game, and when they do it, the game just puts random people into a private match. Like, how... Could we get maybe someone... Does, like, maybe just me hosting? Because, like, I have the worst luck in video games. Could that be a problem, or... I, I, we didn't have this problem a lot last night, given it was like one in the morning, but. Yeah, no, there, there's definitely. Yeah, $20 and all that. You can do tourneys. Tourneys, what the fuck is. I don't. Oh, custom. Create a tournament. That might be a good save five, bro. If that's actually the save, I might owe you. But everybody has to join beforehand. Alright. Here's what I'm going to do, Natalie and George. Let's try a private match one more time. Let's give it a couple more goes. If this is actually bad, then what, it's, what tournaments... Oh my god, that's gonna be fucking terrible. I, cause I don't, I don't, does the bracket even fucking matter at that point? The bracket we did earlier, does that shit even matter? Cause I, I don't think I can organize it. Can I? I don't. Switch part of the, I don't even know. Let me try it one more time. I'm, I'm actually hurt, man. I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. It's, if anything, man, this is just showing you when I say that I've had beef with Epic and I've been mad at this game throughout, you know, ever since they took over. I think this is just a, a key, a key example. You know, I, I wanted to do a tournament, have fun for everybody. We could come here and compete for fun. And yeah, there's you know money prize, but we're here in private games and people are just randomly joining. And you know what? They don't know better. They're just probably clicking join game and here they are. So I, I don't know. It's unfortunate, and it looks like, once again, try password. I, I guess, yeah. I guess we'll try password. Yeah, everyone's saying password, so we'll we'll try it with password. As Natalie and George, are y'all still, like, in my thing? Because it's not even pulling you guys anymore. It's not even pulling y'all anymore. Private match. Alright, well, the unfortunate thing about this is, uh, alright, first off, if we're doing passwords, 
if anyone is streaming, I don't know if anyone is. If anyone's streaming, you got to be able to cover that shit up somehow. Otherwise, that's going to be a problem. I'm going to cover it up, but it's just going to make it a hundred times more inconvenient. Like, that's, this is just ridiculous, bro. That's ridiculous. All right, let me do my fucking password real quick. It's gonna take a second. I don't. I don't know what the fuck the fucking password is already. <coughs> oh, man. I'm just upset, man. I Once again, sorry to everybody. I'm going to try to do it with passwords, but this is just fucking crazy. Uh, if anyone would want a 1v1, I can even join your team, and he'd want 1v2. Oh, if you guys want to do that for practice and just mess around, you guys are more than welcome to as well. If you guys want that, but hold up. Well, problem with this is I'm going to have to DM everybody. All right. One sec. Uh, I'm going to be DMing on Discord. Oh, wait. Natalie's in it now? Cause, what? Okay. Whatever. That doesn't make any sense. Whoops. Doesn't make any sense, but all right, let's do it. Let's do it. Neither of them had the password. All right, we're back in game two. Let's hope that no one joins. I did password, but apparently if you turn it on password and then uh, you give nobody the password, it just drags the people that are in with you. I don't know what's going on with Rocket League, bro. This is crazy, but I guess we'll try to put it past us. Let's hope. Let's just, I don't care what you do. You pray, you hope, you you wish, you, you got to do whatever you got to do. Let's just <laughs> hope that nobody fucking joins mid-game. And here we are. Natalie's going to go up one point early in the game. Not even a full 30 seconds in. Only 23 seconds in, and she's up one again. Once again, I feel bad, guys. I, I can't apologize enough. I, I can't stress enough. It's the game's fault. It's epic. It's Rocky League. I, I have no control. Maybe with passwords, it thinks there needs to be a password, but for some reason, people in your group can join. I don't know. Let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope, man. The last thing we need is a game five later today. That's tied up 30 seconds left and going into overtime and some douchebag joins the game, man. That's the last thing we need. But we'll hope. We'll hope. We'll hope. But Natalie with the defense, Natalie going to be able to take that opportunity back onto Georgia's side of the field. She's not going to be able to turn that into a goal. I'm going to be honest, my feelings are actually hurt right now. Like, I'm, I'm a little upset. I'm a little down right now, bro. I'm actually kind of hurt that the game is that bug. You know, I've been looking forward to this for so long. But, I mean, I guess the good news at the end of the day, it was just a practice game. It literally didn't matter. These guys are just here warming up, getting some practice in. We might be able to flirt with the issue and see if we can find a temporary fix. It's not over. The competition's still on as of now. It looks like we could still try to compete, try to get something going. So we'll look at the positives. There's not many with Rocket League and Epic, but we'll look at the we'll look at the positives when they come, man. But hell yeah, getting back into the game. Here comes Natalie back onto Georgia's side of the field. Looks like she's going to be able to get this one. She's missed a couple of shots. George damn near put it in his own goal. Natalie going to finish it off for him. I feel like George tried to knock it away, but he just put it right there in front of his own goal and basically got a, a center on himself. Very, very, very fun game to watch. I'm just trying to get a little hype, man. All my hype kind of died right there, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to get hyped up, guys. we got a tournament coming up. It's going to be fun. We're still doing some practice games. It looks like we got five and Tiny up next. And then if anyone wants to play Natalie and uh, she said a grand champ after this, you guys can do it off camera. In like your own private game or something like that if you want. I'll go ahead and do the five tiny game. And you guys could do that. That'd be a lot of fun. That's probably some good practice going up against Grand Champ. But here comes Natalie. Almost able to get a third goal on George. 
She's just been dominant this entire series so far. George yet to score in the series. I have noticed he's hitting the ball a little bit more. He's not missing as much. And uh, we'll have to see if he can turn that into something. One thing I've noticed for George is he's refusing to challenge the ball. Natalie's going to take advantage of that opportunity, and she's going to get a third goal on him. But you saw George right there. He backed off a little bit. He didn't want to challenge it. I know the corner can be a scary place, but you can't just sit still. You, you got to move. You either got to turn around, fall back to your goal, play some defense, or you got to push that ball, and you're going to have to challenge. You're going to have to get some touches, and you're, you're going to have to try to find a way to keep Natalie at bay. Natalie not going to accept that, though. She's going to immediately go on the offense, immediately win the break. And George is going to have to try to play some defense. Where's Natalie? She's kind of midfield. I think she's trying to get boost. George is going to be able to get that block right there and win that challenge. He's going to be able to not hit the ball. He's going to miss it. Natalie putting it back onto George's side of the field. She's doing insane with boost. Boost management. George going to miss that. He's got to clear it. Otherwise, Natalie's going to get an easy goal. I feel like Natalie letting up on him a little bit because that was, that was surely an easy goal if she wanted that one. George having a couple more misses. Natalie not going to be able to hit that one in. Not going to be able to hit that one in. Little bump there by Natalie. And bump right back by George. George is not afraid to bump. And you know what? For all those players in this tournament later today, as we go on, one thing that I highly encourage, you're going to have to get aggressive. If you are just outmatched, you're going to have to get aggressive. You're going to have to get a little, little, little violent. You're going to have to get those limbs. You're going to have to get those bumps. Otherwise, it's just game over. George with an open net. I don't know what's happening to Natalie. She just kind of sat still right there. I was hoping she didn't lag out or something. That is another thing I have no clue how I'm going to fix if someone lags out. So George, what that was a nice save by George. I don't know how he pulled that one off after missing some open nets, but great job by George right there. Getting that one clear, putting it back on the Natalie side of the field. Natalie with an open net. Ah, uh, went a little bit right. Wasn't able to quite get it in. George, I uh, just put it right into Natalie's uh, line of fire, I guess you'd say. Right into her sights. She saw that one coming, and even though he was right there and he tried to hit it out, she just barely tapped it up and went right over George. Really not much he could have done there. I guess he could have jumped and tried to pop it up, but just bringing it back in front of the goal just kind of hurt him. But George is going to win that break. Let's see if he can turn that into something. A minute and five seconds remaining. And it doesn't look like he's going to be able to. Trying to it looked like he was trying to get a bump on Natalie there, but that's going to leave Natalie with an open net. George is going to knock it away, though. Natalie had no boost. I'm amazed she didn't flip into it or something. She probably could have got a goal there. I don't know if George would have been able to get there, but that was another great save by George. We've definitely seen some improvements by George, but, I mean, it's still a 4-0 game, and that one is going to go in for sure. Natalie not playing around anymore. Going to put that one away. Uh, Benny says, sheesh. <laughs> uh, Spencer says he'll take the Grand Champ on with uh, someone. All right, so Spencer and Natalie can take on the Grand Champ after that. There's also Rule 1 Enforced. I follow Rule 1, but I'm not going to penalize you guys if you don't follow Rule 1. After all, this is an official tournament. If you guys follow Rule 1, though, I mean, I would. I mean, that's that's Rocket League Rule 1, baby. But that is completely up to the players. I'm going to be honest. Oh, you're not lagging? Oh, okay, okay. And Noodles said... or, or he's, Tiny said, great question. That's completely up to the players, man. I personally always follow Rule 1, but when, you know, this is a tournament. Uh, you got to do what you got to do. It's a respect thing. If you... It's a respect thing, and it's it's kind of an honor thing, too. So, I mean, if it's something you care about, then yeah, I'd say yes. But if not, then I'm not. There's no punishment. I'm not going to deduct you points or a game. It's <laughs> literally, you might get roasted in the chat, though. You might get absolutely roasted. Natalie with the sixth goal there. 18 seconds left. It looks like it's going to go in her favor. Is she going to try to burn the clock out? Uh, looks like she's going to try to get that seventh goal. She's going to just absolutely put it away. She's taking no chances now. Me making sure no one else has joined the game. What's rule one? Yeah, it's when two cars get stuck on each other, like front to front, and uh, they you, like full boost, like you're full fully in the gas and you can't move. You're just kind of stuck there. The only way to break a rule one is you'd have to like back up, which is what, why it's called breaking rule one. Natalie trying to get an eighth goal, not gonna be able to. It looks like that's gonna go right back to the ground. And Natalie's going to get a flawless victory here in Game 2. And so far, she is flawless in this series, winning both games and allowing zero points. If everyone just wants to ready right back up, we will uh, we will just get right into the next game. Yeah, you guys just hit ready. You don't have to back out or anything. We'll just we'll do it Game 3, and we'll see if George can get anything together here in Game 3. We'll see if he can get a couple of points even. Just get on the board. I'd love to see George. 
get on the board. He has gotten better. He's definitely gotten better. We've noticed getting a little bit better with some of these saves that he was definitely struggling struggling with early on. George left the game, which means we're going to have to go to the main menu, which is very unfortunate. So a future, <clears throat> I guess, update to everybody is once we're in a game like that, no going to the main menu during like mid tourney until like it's over or if there's like legitimately a problem because we actually had a decent lobby there and now we don't so if you guys just ready up next time that'd be pretty cash money but all right let's do this